Number of new listings down 22% this month. Hey, it's Sean Reddy, Keller Williams Reddy Group, and this is the Tampa Bay, uh, excuse me, Tampa Bay Market in a Minute for today, September 13th. We're looking at the last 30 days in the Tampa Bay real estate market as compared to the 30-day cycle prior to, and talking about which uh, direction these numbers are heading. So as you heard me mention, new listings are down 22% month over month. Only 4,240 people put their property, this is not even just single family homes, but their, uh, their home, their condo, their townhome on the market between Hillsborough and Pinellas counties. The, again, down 22% from the previous 30-day cycle. Strangely enough, uh, available homes has crept up almost 8% month over month. We'll talk about that here in a minute. So even with 22% less new listings, the available inventory has gone up to 7,631. That is up 7.5% from the previous cycle. Pending sales down slightly. You'd expect them to be down more with uh, you know, less new listings, yet more act, uh, available homes. Yet pending sales dropped 1.2% month over month. Closed sales did go up, albeit uh, only by 2% month over month. 3,440 homes sold between Hillsborough and Pinellas counties in the last 30-day cycle. And yet, here's a biggie, average price fell 7.3% in the last 30-day cycle. Now, that is a snapshot in time. So of those 3,400 homes that closed, the average of those 3,400 is 7.3% less than the average of the previous month's worth of sales. Yet the median also went down as well by nearly 4%. So average selling price in Tampa Bay in the last 30 days, 471,000. Median is, uh, excuse me, 385,000. So you can see there's some outliers dragging that average or bringing that average up. The sold price to list price ratio dropped by a percentage point from 99 to 98. So sellers are getting uh, now 2% scraped off the top of their asking price on average. And the last thing to talk about here, this is a big one too, the average days on market and median days on market jumped up 22% and 31% respectively in the previous 30-day cycle. That's measuring the pending sales. That's the freshest data we have, the ones that have gone under contract and have not closed yet. So again, up 22 and 31% respectively. Uh, average days on market's 28, median days on market's 17. Still very quick in the grand scheme of history, and yet we see that number continue to go up. Now, let's talk about opportunities because if you're thinking of buying a home or selling a home, there's always opportunities in any market. Let's dig into where those might be right now for each. If you're selling a home, look, we've had an incredible run up in appreciation over the last couple of years uh, to the tune of 15 to 25%, depending on where you're at, year over year for the last two years. So we're at this peak. Yes, it's come down a little bit. Uh, as we've talked about, yet you're at this peak appreciation in which, at which you're selling, right? So if you're selling a home, you're right there near the top, take advantage of that. And especially if, if you are selling and then, you know, maybe uh, going and renting a place or just traveling the world, world if you're not uh, equity swapping, meaning taking it into another home. We'll talk about that in a second. If you're buying a home, do the interest rates suck compared to where they were? Yes, of course they do. Yet, those fluctuate, as you know. Now, granted, it's going to take another global, um, we'll just call it a catastrophe to bring interest rates to where they were the last couple of years. Probably not going to see those again in our lifetime. Yeah, we could see them pull back in, into the you know four to five range. Um, barring, well, let's not consider the uh, inflation report that we got today. Yeah, we could see those pull back at some point this year or next. You can always refinance your rate. So marry the house and date the rate, right? Probably heard that before. So if you are a buyer, you can go buy a home. You're getting a 2% discount compared to asking price on average. And remember that used to be about four, five, 6% above asking price. So really it's like a six or 8% discount compared to even just a few months back. So you don't have the competition. You can take your time deciding if you want the home. You don't have to waive your contingencies and your inspections and all that. You don't have to pay the, you know, cash out of pocket for an appraisal gap anymore. So there's advantages on both sides of the coin. You just kind of need to know how to play it a little bit. 
Now, if you are doing an equity swap, that just means you're selling and buying in the same market. Well, then who cares what the prices are? It doesn't matter, right? The only time you're really playing highs and lows of a market is if you're just doing one or the other. So if you're just moving to move, your loss is probably going to be the interest rate that you refinanced into or got in the last couple of years. Yet again, you can refi that, refinance that down the line. Now, I know I went longer than a minute. This is supposed to be Tampa Bay market in a minute. Uh, so thanks for spending the past few with me. My name is Sean Reddy with Keller Williams Reddy Group. And this, again, is a macro level look at Hillsborough and Pinellas counties combined. If you're interested in something more micro, meaning your neighborhood, your town, your actual home, love to geek out over these numbers. Let's chat. We'll see you next month.